discovery of artificial sweeteners began in a lab owned by Professor Ira Ramzan, who offered the space to a young Russian chemist, Konstantin Farberg. Farberg carried out numerous research on sugar and chemical experiments concerning food preservatives. During this process, Farberg accidentally spilt some of the synthesized compound on his hands. Later that day, whilst eating his dinner at home, Farberg noticed an intense sweet flavor. Farber came to the conclusion that it was due to a chemical spillage and was overjoyed at the thought of a new discovery, a non-toxic sweetener. The chemist went back to the lab and tasted every chemical he was previously working with. Eventually, he discovered that the sweet flavour was the result of a solution of sulfur benzoic acid, phosphorus chloride and ammonia. Falberg straight away wrote to Ramsen describing his findings and in 1878 published a paper under both their names. This however did not last and since 1886, Constantine Falberg was named the sole creator of a product we all know and love and the first of its kind, saccharin, aka artificial sweetener. There are a number of routes used to synthesize saccharin, some of which are still being improved in order to make the process more efficient. I'm going to talk about the synthesis route starting with toluene, which was the original starting material used by Ramsen and Farber. In this process, toluene is converted to 2 methyl benzene, one sulfonic acid via electrophilic aromatic addition of sulfuric acid. The next step of the process involves converting the sulfonic acid functional group to a sulfonamide group using sodium hydroxide, thionyl chloride, dimethylformamide, ammonium hydroxide, and tetrahydrofuran. In more simpler terms, the sulfonation by chlorosulfonic acid gives the ortho and para substituted sulfonyl chlorides. The ortho isomer is separated and converted to sulfonamide with ammonia. Oxidation of the methyl substituent gives the carboxylic acid, which undergoes a reaction forming a closed ring, also known as cyclizes, to give saccharin free acid. Saccharin is a white powder with a molecular formula of C7H5NO3S and a molecular weight of 183.182 grams per mole. In dilute aqueous solution, saccharin is 500 times as sweet as sugar. It does not have a boiling point. In fact, saccharin is sublime, meaning it transitions directly from a solid to a gas without the intermediate liquid stage. Saccharin decomposes at 228 degrees C and is soluble in acetone and methanol. It is also slightly soluble in benzene, ethyl ether and chloroform. Saccharin is unstable at high temperatures, but fortunately it does not react chemically with other food ingredients. All sweeteners have chemical weaknesses or faults in their flavour and so are commonly blended with other sweeteners. Saccharin is often blended with aspartame in diet carbonated soft drinks due to aspartame's relatively short shelf life. Commercial use and importance of saccharin. Saccharin has been used to sweeten foods and beverages such as soft drinks, cakes, desserts, jams, canned fruit, candy, and chewing gum for centuries. It played an important role during both world wars as a result of a sugar shortage. Saccharin has become important to diabetics with caloric and carbohydrate intake restrictions as it goes directly through the human digestive system without being digested. It also proved to encourage weight reduction and so is favored by health professionals for people with obesity and dental problems. However, Saccharin does pose health risks and has also been highly scrutinized by doctors and health professionals due to its supposed toxic effects. Although it has not been directly proven, saccharin and other artificial sweeteners have been suspected to act as possible carcinogens in causing cancer. The taste of the compound may stimulate insulin production from the pancreas, and finally, saccharin is also suspected of causing allergic reactions and weight gain, the opposite of what some professionals claim it does.